G'day there, I'm Dave from Dino Bike. I just wanted to uh, briefly talk to you about running an original O2 sensor or the OEM O sensor in an aftermarket exhaust system um, and then show you what that means in terms of the performance, the way the bike runs and the AFR readings. So well, first of all I'll just show you, we've got, we've got an aftermarket exhaust system here and it's got a, uh, it's got what we call a narrow band uh, OEM sensor plugged into it. It's connect connected up. It's running live, um, and uh, the inf the information is being used by the ECU to come up with a fuel figure of 14.7 to 1 is the norm these days, uh, set by manufacturers. So we just go and have a look at the graph now, and I'll show you how that affects that supposed AFR uh, when the bike is running with a non-genuine exhaust system. Okay, here's our air fuel ratio for this bike. 13.2 is this dotted or dashed line here. Below it is rich, above it is lean. Now manufacturers aim for 14.7 to 1 air fuel ratio on a stock standard bike. We've kind of got that down here, maybe a touch richer actually. But up here, you can see in here, it's gone leaner. It's actually up at 15 now. And we don't want that bike running up at 15, and that's a bit dangerous. Now this area here, this is all on light throttle, which frankly, irrespective of how hard and how fast you think you ride, I can tell you most of your riding is in around 10 to 15 percent throttle, which is in this zone. So this bike will be running quite hot. Throttle will be really snappy, unpredictable. The transition from off to on throttle will be almost impossible. And basically it won't be much fun to ride like that. So if we look at this, I've just quickly gone in and made an adjustment on this and done some more runs. We've now turned off the narrow band O2 sensor and I've adjusted the fuel mapping in this zone. Again, we're at 10% throttle. So as you can see now, we've pulled that down to a much more manageable, nicer zone. We're in 13.2 to 13.5 for the most part of it. It is a little bit rich there, so I need to go back in there and just tidy this area up, pull that back up to that dotted line there a little bit, probably take out about 5% roughly. But overall, that is a much nicer fuel curve. This bike will now run a little bit cooler. Throttle response will be smoother. There'll be more power, more torque, but most importantly, much more manageable and just a much, much nicer bike to ride. So as I said before, trying to tune a bike with narrow band O2 sensors, or if you're thinking that you're gonna put the O2 sensor back into your aftermarket exhaust, please think again. You need to find a way to eliminate the O2 sensor so that you can get that fuel ratio down in that zone where the bike runs much nicer. So that about sums it up. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave from Dino Bike. See you on the next video.